Hello and welcome friends. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. I greatly appreciate all of the ongoing support. This is my channel, Dragon's Jeweled Creative Gems, and I'm Tegan. And as you can see, we have a Diamond Art Club. I know, I know, when I unboxed the tea party, I told you all that was my last Diamond Art Club. Well, they restocked a must-have for me. So, yeah, I couldn't resist, and the beauty has come, and I, when this got restocked, I might have been a little bit like a kid in a candy store. I squealed out loud, and it was in my cart, and it actually got delivered, or shipped out the same, same day or next day, I can't remember, and then it was here like two days later. Super excited to share this one with you. It's a big one. Uh, probably the biggest one that I have gotten to date, uh, but it's a square, and it's Magic Potion by Genovia Art. Um, there is the image. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it's a 61.1 inch by 23.6 inches or a 168 centimeter by 60 centimeters, so it is massive. I'm going to have to um, work this one a little differently. I'm not sure how well it's going to fit on my desk here, um, but I'm either going to have to work it side to side rather than my usual top to bottom like I tend to do, or bottom to top. Um, just because of the size, and that's only if it'll fit on my desk. I may have to, of course, drag it out to my dining room table or something. We'll, we'll see. Because she's a beastie beast. I'm hoping it'll show okay on here. And of course, we'll break into the kit. See the goodies that everybody likes to see. Because it is a square kit, it does come with the. Oh, oh my goodness, I am just one mess and I lost the, <laughs> the cover part to my stabby tweezers. That's fun. Oh, no, there, there it is. Okay, there we go. These things are very, very sharp when you don't have the protector on. So, yeah, um, the Diamond Art Club branded tweezers, your baggies. The four and seven multiplacer, the white tray with stopper, the two pieces of heart wax with caddy that they go into. This one came with a pink squeegee and pink pen, which the pen is something that's randomized in each kit, as well as the washi, which the washi that came with this one is kind of just your chevroned red and white kind of pattern. And then the cover minder is also another randomized item, and this one is a cute little pink flower. So that's the kit. Nothing too crazy. I know not everybody cares about the kit. Some people like seeing randomized items, so that's why I show it. But of course, here is the small sticker. You can place that on the outside of the box, on the plastic of the canvas. You can use it in a... Um, if you log your progress in a diamond painting journal, you can stick that in there kind of keep, help keep track of things, however you like to use the sticker. It comes with that, of course. And now, the fun part. <laughs> Let's pull this beast out and take a look. <laughs> I already had the journal screen slide out this way, so we'll do that. Yep, yep, this is a big one, like I said, big one. Um, 
Okay. So let's start with. Okay. All of this. <laughs> you get your brochure, which of course has lots of great useful information, QR codes for the group, discount codes, stuff like that, how to dime paint, what's all included, lots of great useful information. Um, this one will come with the two, two sticker sheets and that's because of how many colors are in it. Um, but you'll have your big sticker, which has the artwork name, artist, you can include a start and end date, and it gives you the diamond shape and size, and I will pull this up and you can get a better view of what the image is going to be like. Um, absolutely gorgeous, all the books and the bottles and the little fairies in there. I cannot wait to work this one up. Although it is a monster, um, it's going to be a lot of fun to work on. But total, there are 71 colors. I think this is the first kit I've also only ever gotten two sheets on. And with Diamond Art Club, anything above 150, of course, is an AB. And this kit, in particular, has four of them, which looks like kind of a blue, a yellow, kind of a yellowy orange and an orange. Um, and that makes perfect sense for everything you see in the picture. There's a lot of yellow, a lot of orange kind of colors for like that glow. So yeah, all your kidding up stickers are there, pre-cut for you. And then these are the monster <laughs> packages of drills. Um, uh, Diamond Art Club does have the sticker on, so if you separate them out from your canvas, it'll tell you the artwork name, and this says 2 of 2. So this one should say 2-1. So, yes, that just lets you know that there's two packages of journals. Um, lots of, as you can see right there, lots of browns. Lots of different shades of browns, lots of wonderful bright colors. Um, I'm not sure I want to go through all of them. Um, but I will pull out the necessary um, ones that people might be curious about. So the first one is I'm going to see how much 310 is in this package. Is labeled here. How many bags of 310? Because some people don't like uh, 310 heavy projects. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen bags of 310, so there is lots of 310 in this one. Once again, not surprised because if you look at the image, all of that is going to be the 310, that black in the background. So yeah, not surprised that there's 13 bags of 310 in it. But as you can see, you do have those pops of color, this nice bright red here, the pink. The blues, you get white still. Here's one of the ABs, 120, which is the uh, the blue one. Um, you get a nice vibrant green there. Um, I think that's kind of a nice bright purple. And I hope you can also see that okay without me pulling all the drills out because I'm gonna have to get them all back in the box because um, that's how I store mine. So that's why I also don't want to pull them out, make a mess, make it too hard to get back in the box because that's how I store it. So yeah, then this one, oops, I ripped the bag on myself there, oopsies. Oh dear. I completely killed this bag. 
Oh boy, that's okay. Oh, you can see this is how lots of your gorgeous oh. oranges and yellows in here. Um, there's your orange AB132. Got one bag of that. We've got two bags of this 129, which is like a pale yellow AB. And then this brighter yellow here, which is your 130. So absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I can't believe I ripped a bag. I totally killed it. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. That's not going to go back nicely. I'm going to have to fight with that somehow. But as you can see, there's lots of browns, more gorgeous greens, pinks, purples, blues. Stunning yellows and oranges. Um, I think this one will be quite, quite magical to work up. And I'm just putting my exploded bag of drills. That's what I'll call it. Off to the side, and then we'll take a peek here at the canvas. Which, oh my goodness, she's so long. She's gonna be like, she's taller than me. Or about as tall as me. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so this canvas is as tall as me. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely work this one, I think, side to side. So let's see how she fits onto my desk side to side. So that's how I'm gonna have to show you. Okay, so I can work on it on my desk. I will just have to do side to side and roll it over. Um, oops, sorry. Um, just trying to see, try to get as much of it in view here as I can for you. <laughs> yeah, so the bottom is like right there, as you can see top right there so I am able to work on my desk um, but I'll have to kind of work it this way um, I'm probably also not going to point out um, where the ABs go in this one just because it is so big and my camera's telling me the battery is low because I've done a bunch of filming. Um, but as per Diamond Art Club, you know the colors that are the ABs. Um, so you're definitely going to see them also traditional to Diamond Art Club's charting style. You are going to see ABs scattered throughout this canvas. And they're going to be used to uh, highlight and accent certain parts. Um, it looks like you're going to get a little bit of um, that nice pale yellow outlining some of the bottles to make it look like a glow. Um, which will be quite nice, of course. The neat thing about this canvas also is I'm so used to the ABs being white. This is also probably the first canvas I've gotten where there's no white ABs that I can think of off the top of my head anyways. So that should be really cool to see um, play into it because there are white drills. Um, but I just loved this image. All the different books, all the potion bottles filled with different things, the little fairies. Um, I just thought it was a very um, fun, whimsical canvas, um, very bright as well with all the different colors. I just loved all the colors in it. Um, so I cannot wait to work this one up. This is definitely going to be a large project for me and will probably take me quite a while to work on. So I probably will break it up by working on other canvases in between. Um, We'll see how that goes, because um, it does look like, too, some parts will work up fairly quickly, because all this background, for the most part, is color blocking. It is broken up well, by, like, what would be some little magic dust flecks or fairy dusts or whatever you want to call it. Um, 
there's some good chances to multi-place kind of on the table or shelf that everything's sitting on. So there is definitely um, lots of opportunity to multi-place. So who knows, it might work up quicker than I thought. But this canvas is a monster, but I fell in love with it and it wasn't going to stop me from getting it, of course. And I cannot wait to um, see everybody in the next video. I was very excited to show this one, and of course I will see everybody in the next one, and with something a little new and different as things fall around in my craft room, I will see everybody later. Bye.